Welcome to the Sunrise Daybreakers broadcast. It is Love Friday. Well, who doesn't love Fridays? I know that I love Fridays. Uh, it's most of the time, well, actually not most of the time. Some of the time it's the end of the week for me. But tomorrow I got to work, so that's okay. But it is the weekend. Welcome to Friday. Welcome to the weekend. And I want to talk this morning about love, of course, but about the suffering, about stopping the suffering. I can tell you that for many, many years, I know that I suffered. I suffered at my own hand because I wasn't happy with myself. I didn't really love myself. I, I mean, I thought I maybe did, but you know what? I was really more consumed with trying to put on a good face, a good, you know, smile, everything is okay, when in fact things weren't really okay. Um, and so I refer to it as wearing a mask. And so I wore this mask of everything's good when everything uh, wasn't really that good. And so I had to learn to stop feeling sorry for myself. And that's how I look at it. It was about self-pity. Oh, you messed this up. Oh, you're just no good. Oh, you're drinking too much. Oh, you know, you wake up with the hangovers and oh, that really is terrible. But, you know, oh, I'll never drink again. But, uh, you know, before I knew it, I was drinking again. Making it worse, still hiding behind this mask, saying everything is okay until I came to the point where I recognized that I needed to forgive myself. I needed to forgive myself because everybody can make a mistake. And so I certainly made some. And so all I had to do was just say, you know what? I made these mistakes. As a matter of fact, um, I wrote down all the mistakes I made. I then addressed the people that I'd made some, those mistakes with and had hurt them as well as myself. A and I made amends to those people to the best of my abilities. Um, then when I was all done, and this is the process I went through to forgive myself, and that's what I'd like for you to know is, is, is a technique that I used to forgive myself, to start loving myself, to then be able to share that love with others in a very genuine manner. I had written it all down. I took that paper, I crumbled it up, I put it in a fire, it burned it up, and I tell you, when that thing burned up and, and went away in ashes, as the paper was fluttering away into the air from the fire, it was the most freeing experience I've ever had in my entire life. And I kid you not, the burden of all of that self-pity and self-hatred and self-limiting thinking was gone in the matter of that instant, just like that it was gone for me it is one of the techniques you can use by writing down all the things that you've done wrong is it a painful difficult experience yes it is um, did I share it with somebody else yes I did then I released it by burning it up there there was just something about it I can't even hardly put words to that experience uh, other than it worked so what I want for everyone is that if you're not feeling good about yourself and you're not loving yourself and we want to stop the suffering, right? That's what it's about, stopping that suffering because I don't think life was designed to just be unhappy. Then we have to take action to do that. And so that's one of the tasks that I use. So I want you to enjoy your day. It is Friday. It is an opportunity to be able to make the best of every moment that we experience today, even the tough ones. Because the tough ones within that experience is something that there's a message for us. Because what I had to recognize is that those uh, dark days that I've had in the past were the learning curve, the, the schooling to recognize, you know what, it, it, it's, I'm not a bad person because I made bad choices. I, I wasn't very smart about it, clearly, but uh, I had to do that stuff. 
to be able to stand here today and share my experience, share the fact that I know that there is hope when things are the darkest. We can turn that around, start loving ourselves and forgiving ourselves for the mistakes that we've made so that we can become a better person. And then when we truly love ourselves, we're able to share that love with others. And so is it selfish? Initially, it is selfish, but it's a selfish uh, act for a good reason. Because when we get to the point where we're happy again, really, truly happy, then everybody around us will benefit. And I know that we all have seeds of greatness within us. One of them is the fact that I personally agree. Sorry about that. Air conditioning going on, if you can imagine. Um, if we nurture those seeds of greatness within us, we can bear abundant fruit. That's the analogy, is, is that, you know, the analogy of a plant. Plant ourselves in fertile ground. So the people that we surround ourselves, the things that we do to take care of ourselves, our health and our wellness, mind, body, and spirit, you know, feed our brains good information, release the negative thinking, replace it with positive thinking. And all of these things I talk about on a weekly basis. On Monday, it's a guided affirmation about positive things that we want to, intentions that we want to achieve in our life. And then Tuesday, it's about empowerment. It's about the things that we need to do to take action to do this and how taking action can make a difference in our life. And then Wednesday is all about the health and wellness. And we've added the Ask Dr. Jenny show in the evenings at seven o'clock. And that is how we can take care of ourselves. And we don't just talk about nutrition and, and boosting immune systems and things of this day. We talk about a bunch of stuff. It's a great show. And if you hadn't seen the one from last week about preventing a chronic disease, definitely check it out. It's on YouTube. It's on Dr. Jenny's YouTube. I still haven't gotten it up to mine, but I'll get it there. Um, Thursday's about gratitude. And then Friday is about love. It's about loving ourselves today. It really is. And it's about stop the suffering. So let's stop that suffering. Let's, you know, uh, and I'm sorry if this is offensive, but for me, it was about self-pity. When I stopped feeling sorry for myself, things started getting better because <laughs> I realized, you know what? I'm human. I make mistakes. Everybody does, but we can overcome this stuff. It's okay. Use it as that learning lesson. But in the meantime, I want you to share this video out, okay? I want you to share this to the groups that you belong to and your friends that can uh, get something out of this message. And I think just about everybody can. Um, I want you to stay tuned or come back or check the replay for at the end. After I've done a prayer here in a moment... We're welcoming in a brand new day, that's what I do. Connecting to nature, connecting to source, connecting to the community, and of course the community is you, and I appreciate you, and I'm grateful for you. And then um, I'm going to interact with some of the comments, acknowledge the viewers again, because I do care about you. And I'm just gonna let the video roll. It's, it's a format that I kind of like, I know that then that's a meditation opportunity for yourselves. Now I do the guided meditations on Monday, but it's an opportunity to just listen to the birds singing and watch the sun coming up and, 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 and listening. Uh, we're having a piece of uh, mind moment, right? Uh, if you can do it right now, great. If you can't do it right now because you're working or driving, don't, don't sweat that. Come back. There's replay and then there's YouTube. Um, for doing it at a convenient time for you. But at the end of the video, I'm gonna just have a quiet time watching the sun come up because I like this view because the sun's gonna come up over the house over here. Soon I'm gonna get out and do uh, remote locations because I love going to, like the celery fields and we'll watch that clear unobstructed view of the sun coming up, that's so spectacular. I want you to know how much I appreciate you. I want you to know that today we can paint the canvas of this picture any way we choose. I choose to paint it in gratitude, positivity, and love. And I like to share my love now. That's what I do. My purpose is to serve others through the LWN Foundation that I created, a nonprofit organization that's a platform. 
and a resource for positive transformational change. And you know, it, it, it's been coming for a little while. Two years ago, I got asked to write a book, or a chapter in a book. Okay, so I co-authored in Transformational Change, 11 Insights to Strengthen Your Resolve. And I did that. And it was a, it was a, a real door opener for taking serious positive action about the transformational change. And I've been doing videos for in my third year now about this stuff. Um, and so that's what we want to do is have this resource. And some point, hopefully by the end of next year, we're planning to have a center starting right here in Sarasota, Florida, that is a resource center that can help people get their life back on track and give them all the resources that they need from the health standpoint, from the mental health standpoint, from the standpoint of having a place to be instead of being homeless, um, then to have a, uh, help them get jobs, uh, have the skills that they need to have to be able to go out there and function as an asset in society if we weren't previously. And I'm telling you, I say we because I was that. I was unfunctional at one point, and so, but I've become more functional because of a healthy routine. And that's what I teach is the healthy routine. All of that, uh, the empowerment, the guided meditations of affirmation, the thankfulness, the health and wellness, and the love. Join me on this awesome journey. It's a great journey. You are the Sunrise Daybreakers, and I love you so much. Thank you for listening to me this morning. The sun's coming up. It's a brand new day. I don't know if I finished that statement. We can paint the canvas of this picture any way we choose. I did say it. So, you know, choose what you want to see have happen in your life and make that the canvas of today's picture. I'll just move up here a little bit. I'll try not to walk through this spider web that's like right here. Okay, I didn't have to walk into that. So it's a beautiful day here in Sarasota. I hope it's a beautiful day where you're at. We're going to just watch these. Uh, well, yeah, I'm going to lower this for a moment because the first thing, uh, no, the next thing that I want to do is say a prayer. I want to say a prayer, uh, a treatment prayer. A prayer to help us be able to release the suffering, release the self-limiting thinking, and to be able to start achieving our dreams and goals. I have a higher power. I call it God. I have a role model. I call him Jesus. He's a good reason for me to have forgiven myself, for real. You know, that's what it tells us in the Bible. Now, if you don't happen to believe in my, my Jesus or my God, I believe that we're talking about the same thing here. Whatever you want to call it, whatever name you want to put on it, we are talking about the conscious, conscious, creative thought that the original causation that made everything, made the beautiful nature that I get to enjoy. And nature is so healing. And by the way, I just have to say this because I was messages back and forth between Yogi Ramesh the king of laughter, laughter is healing medicine. It's so nice to be able to laugh and that makes us feel better because it releases those neurochemicals that help us to be able to feel good. So does being in nature, so does connecting. Connect, the nature thing is what helped me connect and ground myself. So I thank the Lord, I'm gonna pray now for us. Dear Lord, thank you so very much. Thank you for today. Thank you for this opportunity to be able to share my thinking. Thank you for the viewers that have taken time to come and watch this. Also, Lord, just be with all of those that might not get the opportunity to see this video. Lord, help us to release the suffering that we might be experiencing. There's so many things going on in, in, in the world is it in, in a major transition right now. We're having to learn new ways uh, uh, to function on a daily basis. We might have lost loved ones. We might be struggling with difficult relationships. Or we might be hiding behind the mask of addictions. Lord, help us just to release all this self-limiting stuff. And to be able to replace those issues with love 
peace, acceptance of ourselves, acceptance of others, and be able to stop the suffering, get healthy, and be able to connect to the oneness of the universe, Lord. I ask that you to especially be with those right now because I know that right this moment, Lord, there's people that are suffering all over the world that are very near death. And you lo know, Lord, you know that there's a couple people that I are very dear friends of mine that are helping others right now uh, in their final days here on earth. Just be with those people to give them the support that they need to be able to get through this most difficult time. But Lord, bless them in such abundance because of what they do to serve other people, whether it's their friend or their partner, Lord. Lord, they need your strength right now. Be with the person that is suffering that's, that's going to pass on or that might be able to have a miracle, Lord, to be able to come back and get healthy again. Because there's always that opportunity too. Be with us all, Lord, as we go about our day. Allow us to be able to be safe, joyous, and happy. And to have a huge sense of peace and serenity in our life, in abundance, Lord. Allow us to be able to achieve our dreams and goals. I release these words to the universe. And the universe, in fact, supports these truths. And so it is. And I say namaste. And Namaskar, because I honor thee. Thank you so very much. I truly love doing this. This is all part of my healthy routine. It also helps me affirm myself and keep me grounded so that I can stay on the right path. Because the journey that I'm on, that I want you to be on too, this is not an easy journey. The easy street is comfort zone. It's also complacency. And if you want to do something more in your life, you truly want more to have more happiness or, or more wealth. Wealth isn't always money, by the way. <laughs> Sharing your love, learning to serve other people. You got to stick to a healthy routine. It's got to be consistent. It's got to be every single day. Not just sometimes. Not just thinking about, oh, that would be nice, but uh, I can't do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Let's do it together. Let's be on this journey of love and nurture these seeds of greatness that we have within inside of us. I'd like to acknowledge all of the viewers that take time to come and join me this morning and that have been there and supporting me in this journey and that have been there for years, some of you, and I appreciate you. And I am grateful for you and your life, my life. <laughs> your life is part of my life. That's the connection part. Okay, so I just want to, yes, Gail Westfall, praise God. I praise you. I honor everybody that takes time to watch this. Good morning, Rachel Johnson. Rachel Johnson also. We have a Facebook group, the LWN Foundation, Inspire People. Uh, well, yeah, Inspire People. To inspire others it is life begins when you start living if you're not a member of that group please come to that group it's a great supportive group of individuals of all different um, thoughts from the standpoint but we're all connected in the huh we got something to do here and that's support each other and love each other and be inspiration for each other's send us a, a a request to be a member of that group or if you want to be a member of the group you can't find it or whatever you need help there send us a message we'll send you the link we appreciate that um, Sandy thank you so very much Sandy is a super fan and, and consistently here visiting us on these broadcasts we truly love her let's support her and everything that she's doing as well thank you so very much coming all the way from Australia. Shirley Connolly. Thank you so very much. I, I, I dearly love Shirley. She's one of these people we need to remember in our prayers as well. She's gone through the loss of a loved one. And so many people do. And, and you know, it seems like the older I get, the more that I have to deal with that. Um, I want us all to live each 
in every day as best we possibly can. I want us to support each other and help each other through our difficult times. Shirley Connolly, much love. My dear friend and author up in Ontario, Canada, my home, home country, came originally from Canada, Ontario. Thank you for joining us. Peggy Bro, thank you so very much. We really appreciate you. Good morning, Gail Westfall. Um, Lynn Kowalski, AC's on there too. Um, yeah, that thing popped on. <laughs> that was a little mockingbird flying by us there. Um, now, I don't know, and all right, it's not that I know. I don't know everybody, but I do know this. I do know that if we're not friends already, I'd like to be friends with you. I'd like you to be a part of what we do. I'd love for you to be joining us in the Sunrise Daybreakers. I'd love for you to join us on the Ask Dr. Jenny show on Wednesday evenings. I'd love for you to join me tonight. I'm going to be on Town Hall. Get to know. 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm always here about 6.30. I just need to start moving that a little bit earlier as the sun starts coming up earlier. Um, be a part of this community. Send me a friend request if we're not friends already. Send me a direct message if you would like. Uh, Stephen Smith SRQ, S-T-E-P-H-E-N-S-M-I-T-H-S-R-Q. And remember to go like our Facebook page if you haven't already. And I just want a special thanks right now to everybody. We've got over 500 people that have liked our page. And I just want to say thank you so very much. Thank you for that love. Thank you for that support. We're just going to continue to try and do the best that we possibly can to provide the highest quality content and deliver the most important uh, facts that we can to help you have positive transformational change in your life. Send me a friend request if we're not friends already. Join me this evening, 7 p.m. I want everybody to have a great weekend, and now is an opportunity just to enjoy the peaceful, uh, well, not completely quiet. We'll listen to the birds. We'll watch the sun coming up. Enjoy this moment here. You can use it for meditation. Enjoy the view. I'll come back in a few moments. I'll have a closing message. And then in the meantime, let's just enjoy this connection to nature.
Thank you, everybody. Isn't that just beautiful? The sun's coming up. It's a brand new day. I just really appreciate everybody that's taking time. I can see I've been reading the comments. Right now, a lot of people are suffering. And I just want everybody to recognize that it's really important to acknowledge those feelings and those emotions. Um, because I, you know, I, I'm getting news, it seems like, quite often lately about people that are, are, are struggling health-wise. And I've got close friends. Several of them are watching this video this morning. I just want you to know that, that, that I love you, that I hold you up in my prayers. Particularly people that are suffering, that maybe that there's a miracle for them, that they can get healthy again. Um, sometimes it's very difficult to recognize where and why these things happen. Sometimes it's going to take time for us to get that meaning of the understanding. But what this is, is an opportunity for those that we lose, that our loved ones. And, and, and I can talk from a personal standpoint here, you know. The woman that I was married to is no longer with us and, and passed at 57 years old of cancer. I, I, I know this. I know this in my heart. It's difficult. So I just want everybody to know how much I really do care about you. Life is meant to be good and to enjoy. And what we need to do is celebrate the lives of those that, that pass on. Celebrate it in glory and for the things that they've done that are good. And for how they made a you know, positive impact in our life. God bless you, everybody. Just let's have a wonderful day. Let's have a great weekend. I'll be back tonight on the Get to Town Hall Get to Know. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I might come live this weekend. I think that it's important to now, particularly for those that are suffering from loss or near loss of our loved ones, that we take time for ourselves that we allow ourselves to unwind from the pressure and the stress of our situation. Take a walk in nature, it's very healing. If you can, go to the park. I plan to go fishing with my son this weekend on Sunday. And when we make memories and take time to just connect to nature, connect to source, and connect to our community as well. Life can get very enjoyable. Thank you again. My name is Stephen Smith. And I want you to have a great weekend. And a great day. I will be signing off for now from Sarasota, Florida. Thank you for joining us. Let's have an exceptional day. And remember to love yourself because you are good. We are all love. And we can learn to love ourselves if we're not loving ourselves already. And we can learn to love ourselves even more and to share that love with others. Let's put a smile on somebody's face today. Take care. We'll see you soon.